Hi Anna, uh, my name is Badria, I'm 53 and I live in London and I'm an actress. Firstly I want to say thank you so much for uh, inviting us to um, share our feelings um, about uh, what's been going on. So to start with, right at the beginning I felt that something wasn't quite right and I couldn't quite understand what was going on, um, especially given the fact that I instinctively felt that it was um, a flu virus that we were dealing with. Uh, it just possibly happened to be maybe a stronger flu virus than usual. Um, and I was trying to understand why there were such extreme measures being taken um, for what seemed to be a flu virus. And the only thought that I could come to, to be honest with you, was um, it was a distraction from the fallout from the Epstein situation, is what came to my thoughts. Uh, especially given the fact that um, the skeletons that have rattled out of a cupboard so far have involved uh, numerous very high profile people. Um, and I just thought, well, they just want that to go away, really, especially as it deals with extensive child trafficking and, um, yeah, uh, horror, really. So, uh, but on the positives, I thought, okay, a couple of weeks into us uh, being instructed to uh, remain at home in order to save lives and protect the NHS. Um, I was trying to look at the positives and I thought, well, it's a global situation and so therefore everybody is being affected by it in some way or other. And um, perhaps it's gonna give us uh, the chance to see that we have way more similarities than we do differences as human beings and that's going to bring us together. So I felt very hopeful. The fact that uh, planet Earth was beginning to um, regenerate in some way because there were very few um, aircraft flying, very few cars on the road, etc. So those were the positives that I was taking out of it. And I thought, well, also, it was giving people an opportunity to spend time at home with their families. We all live really very fast, um, intense lives, uh, a lot of us. And uh, it was an opportunity, yeah, just to have some, some time to think about what's important in our lives. Anyway, as the time went on and... Um, one of the things that I found very bizarre, especially when they were trying to encourage us to only go out for essential shopping, was that they decided that they were going to keep off licences open because they deemed alcohol to be essential. I kind of missed that memo of when alcohol became an essential item on our shopping list, but there you go. Um, then we get back to this Protect the NHS. I thought that was quite ironic, coming out of the mouths of people in our current government, considering the fact that um, I don't feel that they have taken many steps to protect it themselves. Um, and as I understand it, they have been selling it off whilst this whole thing has been going on, so I don't know how much of an NHS we're going to have left by the end of this whole situation. So, um, and everybody is trying to do their best. Everybody wants to protect the NHS. Everybody wants to make sure that if people need treatment, um, because allegedly hundreds of thousands of people were going to be going down with this virus. Um, so people were avoiding going to the hospital. This resulted in a lot of people not going to the hospital and dying unnecessarily. Um, now let's let me talk about the figures. Um, I found some figures. This is an official figure that goes to the end of June 2020. Globally, 
there have been 503,140 deaths from coronavirus so far to the end of June. This equates to 2,594 people dying a day globally. Now, just to put that in perspective, 25,000 people a day die of starvation. That's 25,000 people a day die of starvation. 49,000 people die a day from heart disease. Now, these are global figures, but that dwarfs the 2,594 that we have a day for coronavirus. The figures speak for themselves. I don't really know what to say about that. Um, and those are figures that uh, are possibly inaccurate anyway because people have been put down as dying of coronavirus when they've died with it rather than of it when they've died of an underlying health condition. Anyway, I don't need to go on about that. You will probably know about that. And if you don't, I'm sure you can do the research yourselves. Um, anyway, because things instinctively didn't feel right, I uh, decided to start doing some investigative journalism. Hello again, Anna, just in case uh, people want to hear the full poem <laughs> instead of it being cut off. Here it is. Desiderata by Max Ehrman. Go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is perennial as the grass. Take kindly to the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune but do not distress yourself with imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him or her to be. And whatever your labours and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham, drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. Sending you all much love.